Well, you guys got another video on how to fix the .NET framework for errors inside Windows 11. You could use this method on Windows 10 as well and other versions of Windows. So the .NET framework is essential uh, part of Windows to have your apps running correctly on your system or even some games or other uh, dependent sort of applications that might be using the .NET framework. If they're not working correctly, then it could be that your .NET framework is corrupted or it's malfunctioning and you need to then fix it. Microsoft have got a repair tool to help repair the .NET framework and it's called the .NET framework repair tool. I'll leave a link in the video description. So this is the very first thing that you want to download if you're getting any sort of errors and to fix any sort of issues that you're getting with the .NET framework. As I've said before, it's quite an important uh, piece of software that you download from Microsoft to run applications and games on your computer. A lot of older games or benchmark software will use the .NET framework and it's important that it's functioning properly. If you've got any sort of malfunctioning uh, .NET framework, it can cause major errors on your system. So making sure it's running correctly by using this repair tool would be, probably be the first port of call that I would try to try and fix it without having to reinstall Windows. It will tell you exactly once you run the tool the recommended changes that it's going to do uh, by running this tool. And uh, once you've run this, it should try to repair any sort of issues that you might be having with your .NET framework. So just follow the on-screen prompts and then go through the motions and click the next button. Once you're done, click finish and then restart your computer to finalize the repair that you've done on the .NET framework on your operating system. Now you can also go into control panel here. Once you go into control panel, if you look inside control panel, we're going to go into programs here where it says uninstall a program, uninstall or change a program. Inside here, you can see turn off Windows features and inside the turn off Windows features, uh, you can see here there is the .NET framework for 3.5 here. Most people will have this installed on their system. If you have, then you can always remove the check mark and it will then uninstall instead of saying download required files. I'm actually installing it on the PC, but you would be removing the check mark to uninstall it, then restart your PC, and then go back in and put the check mark back in to download and reinstall the .NET framework from this method here. This way, you're removing all of it from the computer and reinstalling it. I've just installed it here. I would then go ahead and restart the PC. It's important that you restart during the uninstallation process and the installation process of the .NET framework to make sure that you've removed any sort of remnants that may be left behind or any sort of uh, broken files or things like that. And it will then go ahead and reinstall uh, that for you. So we've already just downloaded and installed it. I'm going to go back into the control panel here. Inside the control panel, we're going to go back into the programs area. And once you go back into turn Windows features on or off, you would then obviously uh, put the check mark back in, which I've already done. But you'd be just going through the uninstall and reinstall process by removing the check mark, restarting the PC, and then putting the uh, check mark back in, and then restarting the PC. It will download and install it all. And this will then basically uh, do a fresh install of the .NET framework on your PC. Now, for more advanced users, you can use the PowerShell to remove any of these by using the .NET. Uh, uninstall tool from Microsoft. I'm not going to be going through this because I think this method is more advanced and some people may find it a little bit overwhelming, but you can run the tool. It will do one to four steps here and you will just go through and check in it and then uh, do a dry run. As you can see with the commands on there, you can just copy these. I'll quickly just show you one command here so you get an idea. You will just follow this sequence of steps on your computer if you're having issues. And this will basically show you what's installed on there with the .NET frameworks, what type are on here, and which ones can be uninstalled. You'll see when you run this command here, it will give you the .NET uh, core uninstall list, which ones can be uninstalled via this method. And it will give you the list right here. So as you can see, the .NET core SDKs, and also the .NET core runtimes, and a bunch of other ones there. And you could use the commands inside. And I'll leave the links in the video description if that's what you prefer to do. If you want to physically remove them via the command prompt or PowerShell, you can use this method here. And basically, that's what you can use. I'll show you another way which you can do 
Also, you might want to download the .NET frameworks, which you can get from the Microsoft website. Now, it's tempting to download all of the packages all in one go from uh, sites on the internet, but it's always best to get them from the source, which is Microsoft. You can get the older versions from here, and you can also uh, get the newer versions. Uh, some of them they're not supporting anymore, but some people may be using old applications or old games that do require some of these old .NET frameworks. If that is the case, then head over to the link that I'll put in the video description and you can download what versions you need to run those applications and, and also games on your system. These are essential part of Windows. And again, a lot of even program creators that make these little useful utilities will need the .NET framework to run sometimes. So I'll leave that link down below. That is also a way of doing a repair inside the add and remove program section on Windows. And this has always been a part of Windows which you can use to try to run repairs. And this can be used for Office and other programs as well. A lot of people probably don't even know it's there. But I'll quickly show you so you get an idea of how this works. Basically, all you need to do is go into the search box and type control panel inside here and open up the control panel. Inside the program section where it says uninstall a program, you will see the .NET frameworks or Microsoft Visual C++. And you can see when you click on these, some of them will have a repair feature right here where you can click on it and repair. Others will have a button called change. If you click on the change button, this will then give you the option to repair the Microsoft Visual C++ and it will take the version and the distribution uh, what you have got here. And you can run that repair tool right here and try to repair it. It will try to fix it. If it can't, then use the repair tool from Microsoft's website. And if that doesn't work, then you can physically uninstall it and then basically reinstall it and try that as well. And if that doesn't work, then you're obviously going to have to start thinking about doing a repair install of Windows because maybe you've got some major corruption with Windows. You can always run the SFC scan now tool on Windows inside the command prompt to see whether you've got any major issues with the operating system files. And if there's any sort of uh, issue with them, you can run that command to see. If there is, then you know you've got major issues with your computer. Once you've run any of these commands or any repair, you will need to restart your PC and uh, run that to make sure that it finalizes any sort of repairs on that system. That is how you can run the repair on the .NET framework inside Windows. As I've said, it's a key component for Windows users for applications and games. And if you're having issues, maybe you're getting some sort of error code popping up or you're getting missing files, or maybe you're having some other issue where it won't install or you can't uninstall it because there's some sort of major corruption with it, then you can use these methods to try to resolve and fix any sort of issues that you're having with it. If these don't work, then you can always do a reset this PC inside Windows. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. Whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three, I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.